In the beginning. Wait, 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 hold on. In the beginning, there was Nier. And afterwards came the sequel to Nier. Nier Automata. Atama, automata. However you say it. And afterwards came Nier Replicant, which was uh, the prequel to Nier Automata, which is a remake of Nier, so technically Nier Replicant came before Nier Automata, but after. So, um, yes. And now, today, we have the latest iteration in the Nier series. Nier Reincarnation, which I think is before Nier... Near, not near Automata. Maybe before near Replicant. I actually have no idea when this game is in the timeline, but who, uh, who cares? This is confusing. How's it going, everybody? I'm Alejandro Saab, Taggy Films, whatever the heck you want to call me. And this is near Reincarnation. This is a sponsored video by Square Enix. I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm actually really excited to play Nier Reincarnation because I've never played Nier. I know what you're thinking. Why what 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 you play Nier Reincarnation? And uh, for two reasons. Number one, my friend, um, I actually watched a friend of mine play Nier uh, Replicant, and the story really intrigued me. So now I really want to play the Nier games. Um, and uh, the, number two. I actually voice in the reincarnation. I voice the clockwork soldier, the clockwork man, Demos. So I I'm actually really excited. Uh, I played a little bit of the game so far, and uh, uh, it's 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 weird. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, the story is really interesting. the The gameplay itself, like fighting the battles, they seem very RPG, but not. It's weird. It's gotten to the point where I just put it in autoplay. Both story restoration and fragment collection are going well. And Mama has presents for good children <gasps> like you who work hard. Yay! Also, you're probably confused as fuck as to who these characters are. The flying ghost from Pac-Man is Mama. And Mama has been telling us that we gotta fix these scarecrows that have these weapons that each weapon scarecrow thing is a fragment and that once all four are collected they become a part of us because it's a fragment of our life that we lost so that's the tldr and in order to do that we have to go into each of these stories or memories and uh stop the crows from uh changing the timeline so in a way we're the tva that's right near tva loki ren 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 something Reloki. Nailed it. Anyway, all right. So that's pretty much the TLDR version of stuff because I'm not very far into the game. I'm only in Chapter 3. The game is available on Android and Apple devices, so I highly recommend checking it out. And if you want to know where I'm in, <laughs> I believe it's Chapter 3. We're going to find out, and if not, we're, we're going to take a very big skip. I want the animal. I want the animal. Just the cutest. I mean, sure. But this gift is no simple time. A what? It's a reliable companion that will fight alongside you in battle. Okay. Companions come in five different affinities, but for now. Oh, I'm getting. Between fire and. I'm getting the Digimon. I, how about the fire one? The fire. You said fire. I'm in. Uh, the wind. No wind. Give me fuego. Here you go. Fuego. It better be a line. A bear. I'll take the fire bear. Let's go. Fuck him up. Well, what does he look like? Equip it and you'll be able to meet it during battle. Okay, but pero, what does it look like? Oh, okay, great. You're gonna teach me how to equip it. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, that's my boy. That's me. That's Demos. Okay, how to play? I should have really looked at that because I still don't know how to play. Companion? Yo, this bear look fucking tough. This bear look fucking tough. All right, cool. Now let's keep going, shall we? Let's go, mama. So, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very surprised at how good the game looks for the phone. I'm always surprised at how good mobile games are starting to look. Because it, it varies so much. Because some games... What are those things up ahead? So, honestly, I could just do auto. And the game will, you know, walk for me. Interesting. Um, but I'm very surprised. And I kind of wish this game was on console with a different fighting system, probably something similar. Oh, wait, wait, if it broke, I wanna break them. No, nah, I'm gonna break them all. Let me break it. 
Let me, let me, yeah, there we go. Stupid statues. Yeah, take this. Take, let me break you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I should have prefaced this. The area we're in is called the caged, uh, and it's very bird themed. Can I tap on them and they break? No? Okay. I only say that because you can actually look for crows in the, in the cage and tap on them and then you get certain currency. Um, the game has been pretty favorable with the gotcha system, which... I, the, honestly, this game, I don't understand why it's a gotcha game, but, um, I love the fact that, uh, it's so story-driven. And I don't know if there's a beginning and, uh, an, I don't know if there's an end to the story yet. I have heard there is, so... It, it just i wonder why it was a mobile game and not a not a console game all right now here we go so for this part of the the video uh, i'm gonna shut up and let the story just play out because this is the first time i'm watching it too and i find these stories very fascinating this gun mm, the pistola why am i like this anyway yes play it play that shit boy eh. all right cool I'll shut up now. Get ready. Because I'm going to be quiet in three, two, one. The Clockwork Man. Okay, now I'm going to shut up. A mechanical soldier sleeps amidst the detritus of a castle storehouse. Time has no meaning here. A minute is as an age. Until the day he meets the boy. Stay put and you keep quiet. Damn, I'm just gonna throw him in there. Now I gotta click on that beep. The exhausted boy can only mutter three simple words. Let me rest. Seeking to help, the man begins rooting around to prepare a makeshift bed. So now we got to click on the things. But yeah, that's me. I, I'm not going to lie. I find it very funny. I'm a very serious character in this. And I'm just the goofiest, goofiest individual ever. Um, but it was a really fun experience working on this game because I had never done... Uh, I've never recorded an audiobook. And for those of you who don't know, it's essentially narration for a book. And that's what uh, how they described to record this stuff. So I've always been told that I, I, I'd be pretty solid at doing audiobooks. But, uh, actually doing something like it was a pretty cool what the fuck. He continues to dig. A discarded weapon suddenly activates. And then, cue the crows. So these crows essentially alter the stories and not how they play out. In the original, in the very first story that we encounter the crows, they actually get these characters killed. Not, well, actually these characters. Because the very first story... Oh, look at my boy. Honestly, normally, I just let it rock in auto mode because I'm still confused as to how to play. Uh, like, the battle system. And it looks really cool. I may be the only idiot, by the way. I may be the only idiot on this planet that doesn't know how to play this type of system properly. Especially because you can move around. See what I mean? And it's not to, like, dodge or anything. And if I hold, it don't do nothing. But yeah, it's like constant taking turns, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just slightly confusing to me as to how this plays out. But yo, I love my boy. He looks so cool. The fact that I got to voice him was really cool. The man manages to assemble a crude resting place from the storehouse junk. Yeah, you know, I turned a chair into a bed. You've never done that before? Hey, boy. Hey, 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 tap, tap. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. The boy wearily makes his way to the bed. Yeah. And manages a heartfelt thanks. Yeah, you. Get on that bed. After studying the man for a moment, he begins to ask him questions. What's your name, he asks. Why are you here? Tell him my name first. The name the man gives is that of the first model of Clockwork's soldiers. 
I was also a first once, says the boy. First in line to the throne, but no more. Yep. Funny enough, for those of you just watching this now, uh, the very beginning of the, the game is the perspective of the boy um, and what happens to him. So uh, this is kind of connecting the dots. What I really like about the stories of these games, every character seems to connect in some way, shape, or form. And um, mind you, I'm only in chapter three, but so far, all three different chapters have connected in some way, shape, or form, which I think is a really cool, intriguing thing to do. But from different perspectives. The man explains he was unable to carry out orders and discarded as defective. The boy responds that as his disease has grown worse, he too has been cast aside. Damn. You and I are much alike, says the boy with a sad smile. Weary of talking, the boy finally falls asleep. Yo, that's my boy Zeno. The man simply sits, keeping the boy's peaceful expression in the corner of his eye. This really just makes me want to play the other new games. And uh, I, I I love these short stories because I, 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 I really just want to continue playing this game for the story alone. Like, and if there is an end to this game, I really want to get to the end. The Solitary Pistol. Oh boy, oh boy. Story of a gun -wielding mechanical soldier. Oh, you don't say, Mama. Really? It's not like we just, I don't know. Saw the fucking story. Thanks, mom. I suppose these are memories of when he first met the boy with the staff. Yeah, see? Going back, because the staff was the actually the very first chapter. Well then, let's head over to the castle. Let's head over to the castle and see what happens there. Hope no murder happens when I'm heading there. I should mention, in the past two chapters, we have encountered a giant monster and a smaller monster that tried to kill us. Also, these fences are just to um, to keep us, but these are essentially fences made from crows. And these are the characters I do have right now. Actually, before we continue the battle, I should show this in a way. So there is a gotcha system to the game. They do have the near automata crossover. I only know to be and uh, uh, to, to face nine S. He doesn't even have a two. That's a two. I only know that because of the top here. And then they have two P. Theo, which we're currently playing as, and then Akaka. <laughs> so cool. We're just going to pull for these if I even have enough crystals. I actually don't know where my crystals are. Oh, I have 7,200. So let's do it just to show off what the summoning system looks like. And maybe I'll get something good. Hey, yo, mama. Can you get me something uh, decent for the individuals, please? Please and thank you. Oh, mama, did you just hook me up with something nice? Mama, mama, what did you get me? Let's go, mama. Mama hooking me up. Mama hooking me up. Off of the sponsor video, baby. Hey, thank you, mom. I love you. Te amo. All right, and then the rest. So if you see a gold, it's, it's a character. Or a really three-star weapon. Never mind. I take it back. Pero I take it back. So I've been told that two, two stars you should just sell. They're kind of like fodder. Um, so just worry about the three stars and the four stars. So here we go. Show me that gold. Que se se uru. Okay, another weapon. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'm just going to pull another one. See if I get 2B. Why not? Because I feel like once I play near uh, near Automata. And um, once I play near Automata and I don't have these three individuals, I'm going to hate myself. I, I will say right now, um, I did spend some money at the beginning of the game. The, the currency you see right now... Okay, so we're not going to get anything amazing. The currency you see right now is actually all free to play just by playing the game and doing missions. So, honestly, I don't think you really need to spend money. Um, at least not in the beginning because they're pretty like... Oh, you did this? Well, great. Here you go. Here you go, sweetie. Here you go. They, they they give you a lot of free stuff, which is great. Because I know that's a lot of people's thing. It's like, number one, people don't understand why Nier is a, got, uh, a gotcha game, which honestly, I, I don't either. Um, but hey, I mean, 
they're, they're playing the game they're playing the game and i will say one cool thing is if you do summon enough and you get it you get these uh different types of currency which it allows you to essentially get them uh you can just choose to get them if you're not uh you know given enough chances but look if you go to missions uh you go to challenges i got 50 i got 100 more and then i go to gifts because of all the stuff we've been doing and i take all and we got a lot of gems see they and they do give gems out willy-nilly and now i'm back to 2000 so i mean it's pretty solid if you just continue to play the game so okay here we go uh i could replace this boy if i want to just to have a2 on the team and we do have the prince but here we go we're just gonna use girl we're gonna equip weapons chosen all right cool now let's battle it out let's do it show him who's boss so yeah this is the loadout i have it, it it's not it's nothing crazy i don't think it is i i honestly just kind of like go with whoever looks cool and uh then i just let it rock but even if i don't press anything i'll grind them into dust they automatically start playing i don't have to do anything so that's what i don't understand with this system so i'm like even if i don't press auto it still kind of plays auto i don't know maybe I, I just felt like it'd be a different type of rpg uh system i mean it's cool but honestly i would say you're mainly playing this game for the uh the story because the story is very invigorating uh it's really fucking interesting and uh the music is really great I have visual confirmation it, it's on the it's very near which i love by the way if you guys notice this uh demos i have is very different from the demos in the story uh he's got clothes which i kind of wish he didn't there is a demos that looks really cool he he uh kind of has like this cloak thing and i and i don't know where i can unlock him but he looks really dope all right so now that we've gotten that out of the way time to break these bird pots yeah damn mama just gave me permission time to go on a rampage if i could just there we go i'm like a bowling ball i can't get this right boom nope i've missed i feel like if i don't hit them all i'm doing a disservice to the game you know what i'm saying these birds need to die they don't wait bop 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 he's dead he's dead he's dead come on all right hold on no stop there we go and it there we go yeah how do you like that fuck your pots don't you think it's about time we get a move on? All right, mom, I'm going. I just had to break all the pots. Gosh, you're the one that told me I could. Silly mom. Mommy. Why well, don't like this? I have an issue. I have a problem. I have... <laughs> all right, cool. You know what, editor? Just Let's get to the next story up. portion of Demos. We're going to be here a bit. Easier mm. if we could just crash through those awful black barriers. Yeah, it sure would be better, wouldn't it, Mom? And we'll go there. Then we turn. This is an odd room. How's it an odd room? Well, Are we gonna be at the top? Oh. Shh, these labyrinths. Oh, I see that sand blocking that way. It's a waterfall of sand. I hate it. it looks like the path goes through it. You know what? I'm just gonna put auto. Why the? Why, why am I hurting my thummy when I can just let the game play for me? Is that a? Oh, it's a crow. Nope, nope, nope. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Boom. All right, auto. Well, now I gotta press the button. I gotta press the button. Well, there goes that waterfall. Let's go. Oh, how lovely. Wait, did it stop the other one? Or just that one? Nope, just the other one. All right, cool. I had to check. I had to check. All right, everybody. Because if I didn't, I'd hate myself. You sillies. There's a switch here too. Oh well, there we go. I was too ahead of the game. 
I was too big brain for the game. Is it clever? So this game is more of a puzzle game, it seems. I guess it focuses, I guess the main appeal of this game is the story plus the uh, puzzle elements, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but if that was the case, then why include combat? I don't know. Ah, and here we are in the next portion of the story. All right, Mr. Scarecrow, let's fix up my boy. Demos. Let's do it. Better, let's do it. I love how Mama waves goodbye when you go in. Because it's not just we're envisioning it. We're we're like going deep. We're deep diving. We're blues cluesing it. The cold room burdens the boy. And his condition worsens. Did I mention that? The man looks about and sees what appears to be a bottle of medicine. I'm sorry, I'm such a goofster. In comparison to the character I'm voicing or the tone of this entire fucking game. But upon taking it in hand and looking at the label, he realizes it is actually a weapon of poison gas. Damn, no medicine. I'm sorry, my prince. What? <laughs> what? Where the crows just be like, oh, gas? Poison, you say? Ha! Blow that shit up. Blow it up. Blow it up. All right, so I'm just gonna do the auto because it's just up. easier this way. It's just easy when the NPC deals with it, because either way it deals with it. Because I don't, I don't control much of anything with these characters, I guess, except for the weapons they carry and the stats they have. Have you come to die? Yes. Also, can we just talk about how scandalous uh, A2 is dressed? But I guess we can also talk about all the characters. According to my friend who's played this as well as Hayden. Um, basically, the creator of, uh, Nier is just like, I just find women to be very attractive. And I can respect that. I think we all can. <laughs> and that's why he designs them that way. <laughs> it's really funny. The man continues to search for medicine that might aid the boy. In the trash room. It seems the storehouse expands beyond the junk pile pressed against the wall. Oh, really? Let me just uh, make my way through. Ah, of course, alcohol. Oh, there was a medicine bottle. How convenient. He retrieves a bottle from the shelf and returns to the bed where the boy waits. Hello there, boy who waits. I found you medicine. The boy looks at the man's gift and chuckles. Empty bottles won't cure me, I'm afraid. Damn. He says as the man stares at him blankly. Still, says the boy. He suddenly stands as if a thought has come to mind. The boy places a candle in the bottle, turning it into a small lamp. Just... He then begins to sing in a small, quiet voice. You're just gonna flex on me? Oh, do I get that? By the power of his will does the hero draw his sword. To stop the mean advances of the darkness in the world. He will use this light to lead away the people from fear's horde. That's cute. I have actually forgotten a lot of this dialogue that I recorded. Song of a hero who challenges evil in order to save his people. The lamp flickers warmly as the man thinks. Thank you, he says finally. Those words should not have existed in the man, and yet somehow they did. The boy's shocked stare slowly becomes a smile. Bright enough to last a lifetime. In the corner of a frigid room, these two companions are comforted by the same warmth. Yay! That's cute. I have actually forgotten this. I... The ending... I... I remember. Because, I mean... It's the ending of chapter one. 
unfortunately. Weapon, story, solitary. I imagine you're getting used to this by now. Yeah, you know. Wonderful. Deep diving. Keep it up. Being the TVA. Saving the world. I guess the cage. All right. Editor, skip to the next story unless something interesting happens. Stuff happened. Things happened. Weapon stories. You can unlock weapon stories. All right. I was reading. Thanks. And then auto. Show me the cage. I wonder if we'll ever encounter that other monster. These stairs look Whoa. Terribly. I'm going to throw up. It does seem like an effective way to keep intruders out, though. Uh, yeah, no railing. The cage is just filled with mysteries, isn't it? Yes. I mean, we are very early in the game, so we don't know what the fuck. <gasps> oh! It's the monster that attacked us earlier. Hey, was good, boy? Ugh, he got wings. Are you going to chase it? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yo, bro, what's good? Stop running away from me, you fucking insect. It's almost like it's calling to us. Is it? Is that what we're saying? Is that what we're saying? It's calling to us? Or leading us to a trap? <laughs> Thank God that, like, this game doesn't let me fall. Because I was literally just like... <laughs> What the fuck is this? This is a oh, that's a staircase or a ladder. I know words. Do do it, man. If we have to fight that thing, that'd be wild. Excuse me, I'm just gonna auto. Oh, it's, it's gone, here. man. I do like that. There's like, there's the story in the cage and the story stories, because I think that's really cool. Oh no! Wait, wait, go. You go back, Theo. I saw that worthless crow. Gotta catch them all. Stupid crows. And now, the next story for Demos. Show me his sad tail. Look at that weird tentacle wave. Thanks, Mom. That's the sound I imagine coming out of that tentacle. To face a father. Oh, that can't be good. War again, where this time. Huh. Soldiers' voices drift in from outside. The kingdom has once again declared war. What a surprise. I'm saying surprise because the last chapter was all about how they infiltrated a different nation and started a war. Also, the sounds kind of sounded like the shadows that I heard on your replicant. Might just be reused sound effects, but... Very interesting. Boy looks at the man and opens his heart. He once lacked the courage to stand against his father and had stayed complicit. Oh? But now he burns to stop the king and protect his people from the horrors of war. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The passion in his eyes is evident. Tell him again. Let's go. Let's go tell off your dad. Yeah. Hey, dad. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Like that, huh? The man breaks through the door, and the boy follows after. Yeah! Unless that's where the story of this part ends. Oh. Hey. The throne room is this way. We must hurry. Hey, my liege, where's your, uh, where's your staff? Does he have a gun? You there! Halt! He does have a gun. Then again, why am I questioning that? I have a gun. That's like the Aladdin bit where it's like, what are you doing? We all have swords. <laughs> we all have guns. Oh, that's really cool that the background changes. Let's get these things clean. I didn't up. even notice. Thank gosh. Thank golly gosh for that. Hey, I'll fuck him up, Demos. Don't just stand there, bro. Shoot him up. Bam. I'll kill you. Uh, yeah, we know you will. You just did. Uh, tap, tap. I don't, I don't fucking know. Does that do anything? I'm going to assume that's what those attacks were. 
We did it! I still don't know how, but we did it! <laughs> oh boy. We're almost there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go tell off your dad. Go tell off that worthless king who just wants to start wars willy nilly. Hmm. War isn't always the answer, dad. As a like divine light shines behind him, the king glares down at the two interlopers. In a bold voice, the boy shouts up at the king. Yeah, tell him. By my name as the firstborn, I propose this war be ended. Snap. In Snap. that moment, he is just like the hero of his song. With a sneer, the king looks to the clockwork soldier and says, Says what? Huh? The man freezes, but he cannot disobey his master, for that is how he was programmed. Oh. With a shaking hand, he readies his gun. No, I can't kill him. Kill, kill, oh. What if I just don't? The boy stares straight at the man from the end of the barrel. Unable to resist his orders, the man's finger hovers over the trigger. In a final, desperate move, the man shuts down his own motor circuits. Nice. His finger lets go of the trigger, and he falls to his knees before the boy. It is the first time he has resisted orders of his own volition, all With to save the boy. Cry, the king rises up before the pair. He didn't rise up, he roared. Oh shit. Wait, is this the last story of the gun? Oh, we had one more. <gasps> Did we already do 400 in real life? Time to fuck up your dad, bro! Oh. Okay, that's hot. Enemy forces, sir. That's pretty cool. Yo, let's kill this king. Yes, sir. Bop, bop. Okay, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. But fuck him up! Yeah, yeah. We, we got him in the ropes, guys. I'll create an opening. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah, we fucked him up. I still don't know how to fight in this game. But what an interesting story. The king's roar brings soldiers running as he demands they tear the traitors apart. You're a traitor. Got him. The man seizes the boy's hand and they begin to run from the castle. True. For the first time in his existence, the man finally has a will of his own. Hell yeah. So I don't think that was the final story. Not of this chapter anyway. Because we're not even in the... Or are we? No, no, no. There's a door back there. So we still got one more... One more story in this chapter. Gosh. Like, I know I recorded this, but this is so interesting. Because now I'm curious if we're going to get to hear, like, the king's perspective... Oh, yeah, or like, because right now, everything is has been very tied to this war. Like, why certain characters are the way they are. Why, like, some characters ended up the way they, they do. I wonder if the cage has to do with the war. I love stories like this. Who the fuck is that? Hey, what's up, old geezer? Excuse me, miss. What's up? Do you have a spare gun? Well, I've been waiting here for a really long time. But my mommy still hasn't come. Your what? Oh, I miss my mommy so much, and I was hoping you could put me in that scarecrow like you did with Mr. Monster. What? I'm sorry. Mama can't help you. What? Let's be off. Whoa, what 
The fuck? Can we talk to him again? Yes? Bro, what the fuck? It's so fascinating! Chapter 3, I feel like, is when things start to pick up. Or, like, at the end of Chapter 2, I think, is when things start to pick up. That's so interesting! Alright, editor, if nothing interesting happens till the next story, skip! Sight! Sorry, guys. Uh, editor Toasty here. Um, sorry to tell y'all the footage for the rest of it got corrupted. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see the end of Demos' story in Chapter 3. But if you play the game yourself, you'll be able to play the entire game. But I'm just going to skip ahead to Kagi's final thoughts on the game because we really don't have the footage to give you for Demos' story for the rest of this. So, if you want to see the rest of it, just download Nier Reincarnation and play it. Um, I feel like that's unfortunately the way we have to go here, but yeah I'm just gonna skip to Kagi's thoughts and then close out the video. Well That's it for this video Upwards, it's the next floor to the to the cage and honestly I kind of want to let you guys play it Um, because I wanted to share the beginning of Demos because there is more of Demos I remember I recorded more and there's more story and I don't know when that will be but Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Shout out to Square Enix for the sponsorship. This is a really cool game. And this chapter, I know it's because I've uh, it's the chapter where I voiced in it. But honestly, this chapter opens so many doors to like intriguing stuff. The old man, the monster kind of leading us upward. Uh, I'm really curious about the monster. And there's still a, a bigger monster that you guys haven't seen that roams the background. Uh, I wonder if that's like some sort of creature we're gonna have to face off or if he's like the guardian of the cage. So who knows, this is a very interesting story and I'm kinda here for it. Uh, I'm kinda wondering if I should stop playing and play the other Nier games first. I don't know, if you guys have started playing Nier Reincarnation or if this video helped you want to get into Nier Reincarnation, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and enjoy Nier Reincarnation if you play it. All right then, to the next one. Later!